When your call goes out to India, you either get the A-team... They've even studied all our different accents. No way. Hey, you. You know what grits are? Grits is just ground-up corn. Or you get the B-team. More like the Bad News Bears. But they try. No one knows who the Bad News Bears were. I would venture to say that they are bears who, when they come into town, it is very bad news indeed. No. <laughs> because they are bears. No. Who wants a bear in their village? No, Rajiv. Oh, yeah. They'll be taking some of your calls on Outsourced. Thursdays after The Office on NBC. Paris in the springtime. It's so beautiful. Rome in the fall. You look incredible. You look pretty hot yourself. Not bad. <laughs> For government work. So this is our European vacation, right? Do you feel like breaking into a bank with me? Undercovers, a new series, Wednesdays 8, 7 central on NBC. Yes, the winners, the flashing lights, the glitzy duds. A big night in Hollywood as the 62nd Primetime Emmy Awards take center stage tonight. We're live on the red carpet. The news starts now. Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is News for New York. Good evening, everyone. We'll go live to the Emmys in a moment, but first, getting you ready for the work week, Long Island Railroad commuters should be able to rest easy tonight. Officials say the Monday morning commute will be a smooth one. Workers were busy throughout the weekend repairing signals and switches damaged in a fire at a tower station last week that disrupted travel for thousands and highlighted how old the system really is. Tom Yamas is live at Penn Station with the good news. Tom. Well, Erica, there are about 200 wires they were looking at that make up that signal and switch system. Basically, the motherboard for the LIRR at Jamaica Station. They conducted more than 300 tests on all of those wires. They say everything's working now that they're going to have all the trains up and running for tomorrow morning a.m. rush hour. We are very pleased to be able to tell our customers that we anticipate a return to normal a.m. and p.m. rush hour service tomorrow. I would.